Hello there YouTube. I just thought I'd do a quick video on how to connect uh, the Kenwood TMD710 to your computer for Winlink operation or other packet. Um, so here, you know, let me get the radio back down to uh, the TNC's turned off. Really, oops, as you can see I'm already on a frequency. Um, so really basic settings you need to set in the radio. Um, if you hit the F key and then the, the VFO, go to the aux, aux side of the radio. Um, the settings that you're gonna worry about are 918, 919, and 920, okay? Uh, for most wind link operations, um, these settings will work just fine. If you're using the A band side of your radio for APRS already, you can just make the A band a data side as well. It, it works just fine. Um, the data speed is 1200, 1200 baud. Almost all um, APRS and AX25 connections are going to be 1200 baud over the air. And I have a set to the PC baud rate number 920 to be 9600 baud, and that's the connection from the from the Kenwood to the computer. Now, once you get those settings configured, um, you'll need the PG5, uh, sorry, let me just tell you for sure, uh, the PG5G cable. And there's two places you can plug that cable into this radio. One is on the back of the body itself. You do not want to plug it in there. The other one is on the back of the head unit itself. There's a, a connector on the back. Right, and that's where the TNC plugs in. If you use it on the back of the radio, it will not work, period. All right, so once you have the, the, the radio set up with those settings, then I'll show you how to set up, um, I'll show you how to set up on Windling side. Okay, well, I don't have any good screen capture software. Uh, thought I did, but I don't have anything installed, so I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way by pointing the camera at the screen here. All right, so uh, don't mind the software here. This has nothing to do with what we're doing. Um, neither does this. Okay, so uh, to run WinLink, um, you'll first of all, you want to start at the WinLink application. All right, here's the WinLink application up and running. And the settings are really simple. So to use the, the uh, 710G, um, you will use Packet as opposed to the other options here. Um, none of these apply, just a, just the packet win link. And then open your session. Now you can make all your settings in, he, in this window here, okay? Go under settings. On the packet TNC type, you're gonna choose the Kenwood TMD710. I have A band because I set the A band in the radio, but B band is an option if you set it that way. Leave it, I, I prefer to leave it on A-band. The COM port, now, when I, when I installed the cable, I had the device manager running. And you'll look under your COM ports. And I saw that this COM port, when I plugged it, it appeared. So I know it's COM port 17 for the software here. And so you're going to select COM 17. I set the serial baud rate in the radio to 9600, so it's on 9600 here. Uh, the TNC parameters for the for the gateway are 1200 baud. Right. You don't need to worry about the TNC packet model because that's all handled by the model number here on the 78 on the uh, uh, 710A setting. So you update that. Just uh, accept uh, the recommended frame size. All right. And then the next step after it resets here is you're going to do a do your channel selection. And I've had the best luck running the uh, KQ4ET-10. Um, it just seems to work best for me. The, I'm not sure exactly why, but I cannot get these first two on 145.090. I cannot get these first two WinLink servers to connect using my Kenwood gear. Um, it both my THD74 and my D10, D710 will not connect. It, it attempts to, but it will not. However, it does connect using the MobiLink TNC4 on this little Quan Shang. So anyways, I'm not sure what the, why that is. But uh, yeah, so I've had the best luck using, like I said, the KQ4 ET. And it tells you tune the radio to 145, 730. 
So once you do that, you're just gonna click start, and I'm gonna just pick up the camera so I get a little movement here. Once you click that, you click start on with the wind link, and I'll turn the volume up on the radio just a little bit here. So you can hear it. So I'm, the, the radio itself is tuned to 145, 730, which is what the software asked for. I'm gonna click start. You'll see the radio key up, sends packets back and forth. It's connected. And there won't be anything there because I literally 10 minutes ago downloaded the only email, which was the reminder for tomorrow's one like Wednesday. So it'll disconnect. However, had an email come in, it would say that it had received one. And I'll try to record the Windlink Wednesday tomorrow so you can see how that works. So disconnect reported so you can close this window. And then this is the email that I received just a few minutes ago. It's just the Windlink reminder, Windlink Wednesday reminder on how to check in. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will try to answer them as best I can. Seven and three.